Hey loves, Brianna here and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be giving you guys a review of the new Rare Beauty foundation and also some other new products that I picked up the other day from Sephora. I'm gonna give you my honest review and like I said, this is my second time wearing it. So if you guys would like, like to see my opinion on it and if I like it or not, then keep on watching. Also, do you guys like my little Rapunzel braid? Yeah, I wanted to try something new. <laughs> Anyways, I don't want to keep this intro too long. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And let's jump into this tutorial. All right, so I'm so excited to be showing you guys this makeup routine because I wore it out the other night when I had on the all jean outfit with the black turtleneck. And y'all, when I tell you guys, this is probably going to be my new everyday foundation routine. That's what it's going to be. So. Oh, I got my little braid here. Wanted to try something new, so I have a little quick braid in. But anyways, let's get into it because I have somewhere to be. So I've got some new products that I wanted to share with you guys. And um, I got a couple new products. And I really wanted to show you guys the Rare Beauty Foundation and Concealer and some other products I have from the Selena Gomez line, makeup line. So we're going to be using that today. But we need to go in with primer. So for primer today, I'm going to be taking the Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer and I'm mixing it with the Fenty Beauty Matte Primer. And um, I don't know why I decided to do these ones together, but it worked really well. I've been loving this All Nighter Primer by Urban Decay. So I already knew I was gonna be using this primer, but I went ahead and put the matte one on as well because I wasn't sure how this foundation was gonna be throughout the night and I feel like putting the mattifying primer definitely helped with the longevity of the makeup as well and also I just really like a matte look here lately so that's also why I've been doing that so this is supposed to be a light, liquid touch weightless foundation and I'm in the shade 320W. And it says that this foundation is supposed to feel like it's barely on your skin while building coverage and boosting your natural glow. So that's kind of why I did the matte because I was like glow, hmm, maybe it's gonna be a little bit more on the dewy side. Now you do wanna shake it because I, I didn't really read the instructions before applying it and when I went to go open it, it was like super, super liquidy. So you really want to make sure that you are shaking it. So I'm going to go ahead and start applying it to my face because I can talk all day. So definitely with this foundation, you're going to be seeing that it may seem like I'm putting a lot because this is more of a lightweight foundation, more on the medium coverage. And when I did it the other night, I built it up to a pretty nice coverage. And one thing I really like is that I love how this is the brush like this because you can really get into small areas and my areas are mainly like right here I need to be getting into. And a lot of the times I can't really get into it with the other foundations. So another thing I think that also helped with the coverage is using a brush. So I'm taking this Fenty foundation brush and I know the color looks really off right now. And honestly, I haven't done, I haven't used this foundation on camera or with all of these lights on. Like last time I just had one ring light on, I didn't have that light on, I didn't have my other two lights on. So yeah, it's like, did my foundation look like this when I did it last time? Because it's looking really yellow, yikes. But I swear it like comes together, I hope. <laughs> because like I said, I didn't have all these lights on the last time and yeah, didn't really look like this. But just as you guys can see, it's really going into the skin nicely and the coverage is pretty well. Okay, so I'm like, wait a minute. It did not look like this. Like, I think when I used all my other products, it came together better and it didn't look crazy like this because it looks super yellow. Like, not even orange, just yellow. Whoa. Make sure 
doing blenders. Oh. What I did was I took a little bit more last time and I just went in on this area because I feel like that's where I needed a little bit more coverage and on my nose. And that was it. And I just blended it in. You really don't have to do this because you are gonna go in with concealer, but I don't know. This would just work for me. So, get into the hairline. Wow, I can't believe. See, this is how crazy makeup is because it really be looking different in different lightings because, ooh, it's looking crazy right now. All right, so then I went ahead and just took my clean beauty sponge, beauty blender, and I just kind of tapped all over to kind of blend everything in nice and seamlessly. So now on to concealer. Hmm, which one did I use? Okay, so for concealer, I'm taking the shade 370 in, and this one, I actually got two shades, and I have 360W, and um, did I use that one or did I use this one? No, I used 360W, and this one is very similar to the foundation, but really, I am just using this to really just conceal because honestly, you'll see, this is a very light concealer. So uh, I, f I feel like it definitely wouldn't give me the coverage I'm looking for, but I do love the application, how it is that slanted curve because it is getting into these areas of your face, which I love. This was a great idea that she did, a great idea. So I just let it sit for like 60 seconds. As you guys can see, it's very, very similar to the foundation. Um, so that's what I wanted so I can kind of just really give it that coverage because you guys know I like to go in with a darker concealer first always anyways, just to give it that coverage before I go in with a highlighting shade concealer. All right, so taking the beauty sponge, beauty blender, and just going to blend it in and it blends into the skin so beautiful y'all like literally so seamless oh the I'm not, I can't even lie to you like she did her thing with these products like she really did this is great this concealer would be great alone for like a everyday makeup routine where you want to do a no makeup makeup look I'm definitely gonna be trying that but my skin right now looks amazing <laughs> it's just the color ain't all there the color just ain't matching too well but honestly, I would rather this than be too light because I feel like it'll look decent by the time I'm finished. So now I'm gonna go in with my highlighting concealer and I'm taking the Dior Forever Skin Concealer and this is in the shade, um, this is in the shade 3WO. So yeah, all of mine are like 3Ws. But this concealer, oh my gosh, game changer. And this color right here is like a perfect color. I thought it was gonna be like too gray at first when I first put it on, but it's literally the perfect shade for me. And I don't want it to be too highlighted, too white, because I was kind of getting you know, carried away lately, but so now what I'm gonna do is let it sit for a minute. I'm gonna do my brows and then we gonna finish the rest, I'm gonna be right back. Brows done just like that, real quick. I'm still gonna fill them in, but now we are gonna blend in this concealer. So just take the beauty sponge again. And one thing about this concealer, it says that it is a skin-like, um, skin-correct type of concealer. So I feel like this would also be a great concealer to spot conceal on a no makeup makeup day like literally it blends in so well i like i'm obsessed with this combination i've come up with because baby the finish looks so good 
like my skin looks so so good right now i'm obsessed like i feel like my makeup hasn't looked like this or made me feel like my makeup is looking so good in so long so i'm super impressed I'm probably late to that dior concealer but whatever all right so so for cream contour i'm taking the juvia's place foundation stick in the shade Benin. and i've been loving this because it's super creamy i love the color of it and yeah then i'm gonna take a little bit i actually forgot to do this last time i forget to do it a lot actually and I hate when I do because I just love how it makes my lips look so full naturally. And then I'm gonna go ahead and blend this in. Look at my skin. Looking like skin. Period, poo. That's what I'm talking about. That's what we wanna go for, okay? Wow. Sorry I'm not really talking about anything either. Like I feel like I have nothing to talk about. Like life has just been boring. I've just been so busy working on Flesh and Nude Beauty, which is coming soon, I'm so excited. And working out and just trying to get motivated because ugh, I've just been such in a funk. I just love how this blends out, look at that. Y'all, you know what makeup tutorials I really be loving to watch? But I would never do my makeup that dramatic. The people in UK, okay? Cause they be having that contour. Ooh, like the contour shades be so dark. <laughs> they be so sculpted. But they makeup be hitting, like they be having a full beat. Like, like they look like they got a lot of makeup on, but they be looking good though. Like the UK, I'm not gonna lie, I love the girls in UK because their outfits be bomb. Like, they be bomb. I follow so many girls from the UK because they just know how to dress and their Instagrams are always so bloggy, so well put together. Like, they have a theme and I'm just like, I applaud y'all because that shit is hard, okay? That shit's hard. They make it look so damn easy, like. Give me a break. I can't even do that shit. But y'all see, it's coming together a little bit, okay? All right, so then I go ahead and take a little bit more of the Dior concealer because I just always do this. And I've been doing that little thing lately. I guess this is the little TikTok hack thing, but yeah. I've been doing that, but I'm gonna go ahead and blend in this nose. But yeah, so lately life, I've just been trying to catch up and get back motivated. Cause I feel like I go on these little unmotivated things like all the fucking time. And I know y'all sick of me, but y'all still be along riding with me. Y'all do, y'all do, but. It's hard creating content, y'all, when I'm just a normal ass fucking girl and don't really be having shit going on. On top of that, my birthday's coming up, so I've been, I've been doing things for that. It's just a lot going on in these next few months that I have to get done. And it's getting stressful, and I think, honestly, it's taking its all on me. But I always make it work. I always do and i have a brand new this is a new beauty sponge beauty blender this is my second time using it now and i think that helps with the makeup application as well because i've been using this pink one for a little minute and i don't know it just wasn't giving me what i was looking for you know just gonna clean up a little bit with the leftover concealer wow i'm literally like obsessed i just need to go get a different shade for. but it's like really not that bad you know like with the concealer and adding the the cream contour it doesn't look that yellow anymore all right so now i need to my desk is a mess now i'm gonna set my face and i'm using the fenty beauty um setting powders in the shade banana and butter so i mix the two 
but I go in with banana, I mean butter first, which is the lighter shade. So I'll give you the color references. So this one's a lot more banana, which is the banana shade, and then this one is butter. So I'm gonna take butter first. And I wanna make sure that I am getting all these creases to my face. All these creases. And I'm gonna take butter and apply that underneath right here. And that's kind of where I want the highlighted look to go, you know? And I'm gonna do the same over on this side and I'm really pressing it in going on by layers because you want to have it in an even amount of layers you know so it doesn't look crazy then i'm taking the banana and i'm going on top and going down a little bit lower and then taking it all in the areas that i need set on my face Gonna do a little jazziness on the sides of my nose. I really don't know why I do this, but isn't this like part of when you like contour your nose? I don't know. Don't ask me. Then I'm just gonna kind of press what's left all over my face, but I am still gonna go in with my Charlotte Tilbury powder to set everything together. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take the sponge and press the powder into my face. And I've really been liking this powder lately. I never used it. Like this is my first time really using these powders and I've had them since I lived in my older, my other house. So I've had it for like over a year now or almost a year now. And I never really use them cause I don't know, I just felt like they weren't gonna be good. But why would I sleep on Rihanna? Why would I do that? And I've been missing out this whole entire time. Flawless. My face is looking, y'all, flawless. So, now I'm gonna take the Charlotte Tilbury, if I can find it in my mess, and I'm gonna just take a bit of the pressed powder in the shade too, and just kinda just go over everything. Okay, that's it. Then I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer in the shade three, like this. Routine is like game changer, I'm telling y'all. And I did this all in one try. Like, literally did my makeup the other day and was like, bro, wait a minute. My makeup hasn't looked this good in so long. Okay, now my next part, I'm gonna be taking the Rare Beauty, Rare, Rare Beauty Matte Blush. This is the matte one in the shade Bliss. And what I do is I just take it on the back of my hand and I'm just gonna apply about that much. And I'm taking the body of, body bottom of my beauty sponge, tapping it in and then pressing it into my cheeks. When I tell you, oh my gosh, I was looking so rosy and I loved it. Like I put on a lot of blush the other day and I was, I was, I was for it. Like normally I'm not for a lot of blush, but like, oh, so cute and girly and just so cute. And then I actually went in with a little bit of the We're Going Shopping blush by Kylie. And this is a matte blush. And then just taking the sponge and kind of just pressing it into my face blushy blush all right so I need to fill in my brows and I actually got a new brow pencil because I got a new shade and this is in the shade 3.5 from the benefits brows and I feel like this one is more of my shade all right so brows are done I need to go ahead and set it with some gel though oh I hate that I lose everything I'm a pretty organized person, but when it comes to my makeup desk, y'all, 
if you were to see my makeup desk before seeing anything else in my house, you would probably think I'm messy. <laughs> Like you would think I have no home training, cleaning, nothing. So for eyes, I'm doing nothing crazy. I'm taking the KKW Beauty Palette and I'm taking this pinky shade right here. I believe that's called Neutral. And I'm just taking that on the lids. It's a really nice light pink, but like a brown, neutral. Like what it's called, neutral. And I actually really, really love this. Like I did everything, well I didn't do everything, but I used a lot of new stuff when I did my makeup the last time. And I was like, wow, switching it up can be good sometimes. And this may not be switching it up for some of y'all because it's so natural, but this is what I feel like makes me look good. I feel like wearing too much makeup, I be looking crazy. And like, I don't wanna be like that girl that's out looking crazy, you know? Now I need to go ahead and clean up a little bit and I'm taking the banana shade to go ahead and line it up. Then I am gonna spray my face. Let me shake it up. I'm gonna spray my face with this new Milk Hydro Grip Set Refresh Spray. Ooh, my nose feels like I got a hair. And I'm just gonna spray this and I really like it. Yeah, not too much, cause I don't need too much. And I need to draw on my moles. Sis, I can't forget about them. My face be looking real regular. All right, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Looking real good, okay? So I'm gonna go get dressed real quick and then we're gonna finish. But yeah, this is pretty much the final outcome. I didn't get any highlight or anything from her brand just because I haven't been into highlight lately. So yeah, I love the finish of this. Like my face looks so, so um so i wanted to show you guys my outfit i got this a long time ago and i'm sure y'all seen people in it but i've actually had it for months like when i went to miami not even for the last time i went to miami it was like beginning of summer maybe no before that actually i actually had this outfit but i let them have it because your girl don't be doing nothing when i pulled it out tonight anyways um this brand is called twit twist twi 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 i don't know but i'm I'm gonna I'm put it right here for you guys because I don't know how to say it, but yeah, I've had it for a couple of months. Super cute. It's a bodysuit with the matching leggings. It's like a little body, I guess. My Dior bag, and then you guys saw I have my Tom Fords on. So yeah, thanks guys. Hope you guys liked it. I'm feeling my little brave. All right, y'all, so this is the final look. Sorry that the lighting's a little bit darker. This light died. I don't know how it's dead because it did not die when I turned it off. Now I just won't turn back on. But anyways, the skin is looking great. I went ahead and went in with my NYX lip liner. And then I took this Dior lip gloss in the shade 354 and then topped it with a little bit of this KKW lip gloss in the shade Nude 2.5. So yeah, this is the look, y'all. Super cute and simple and I love 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 this makeup and as you guys can see the foundation doesn't look that bad anymore but anyways thank you guys for watching this review if you liked it give it a thumbs up leave me some comments down below subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video bye